Sound by Bionic Tanya from Orson Technologies. Serial number OSCR-104 is requesting to speak with the commander of the command center to deliver a duty report. This is Commander Dr. Hervius. Tanny, you report directly to me, so you can be more casual. How is it going? <sighs> Father, I've reached the designated spot at the edge of the Darkmist Rainforest. The Carpus energy index here is obviously higher than normal. I can feel it. I'm getting ready to explore further as planned. The advanced team discovered the relic of a 500-year-old city, Yacha, hidden deep in the dark mist rainforest and a royal altar in the city. I believe it could be the Carpus energy bursting point. Collecting data from these energy bursting points is important for Orson Technologies to further research and optimize our use of Carpus energy. You are my pride, dear Tanny. You're the only one who can complete this quest, so don't let me down. <laughs> Your arms were transformed with nanomaterials when we optimized you last time, remember? The default weapon is an engineering sword, your preferred one, but you can try using different weapons later on. All right, stay safe and remember to protect yourself. Keep in touch, Tanny.
Tanya. <sighs> Who are you? Where are you? Daughter, who is hurting my family?
Mami, Sil, Moa, you all promised to bring peace to the royal city, and you said I would become the queen, but you lied. I, I just want you all to come back to the warmth of our home. Your Majesty, allow me to introduce Mola, the person I previously mentioned. I met her during a field study at a time when she had just left the Black Python clan and was unsure of where to go. She told me about her military philosophy and her vision of establishing a fleet to explore beyond the islands. I believe Yacha City is an enlightened place that provides talented people with the chance to show what they can do. So I invited her here to visit your majesty. Your majesty, I, Mala, humbly request to surrender to Yacha City. I seek to become a citizen of this royal city and to pledge my allegiance to you. I desire to establish a peaceful link between Yacha City and the Black Python Clan, and earnestly implore your approval. Mala, you come from the Black Python Clan and possess innate powers. But did you know that since our ancestors, lacking such powers, left there 200 years ago and founded Yacha City? Then... I've left the Black Python clan and have forsaken my powers, swearing never to use them again. I'll use my intellect to strengthen the royal city's defenses and assist its expansion across the vast oceans. Excellent, as Yacha City and the Black Python Clan have remained apart, you're the first to surrender. Your action demonstrate our goodwill towards those who will follow in your footsteps. <laughs> From now on, you're my sister as well. Oh, Mola, you must be exhausted. How did the talks with the Black Python clan go? Was it all smooth sailing? Did you enjoy chatting with your childhood playmates? Not at all. Hestus is now the clan elder. I never imagined he could be so stubborn. It's too difficult to negotiate with him. However, I've told him the pros and cons of your analysis and future plans, and I believe he might have been somewhat swayed. Let's wait and keep him guessing. After a few months, we will speak again. By then, he may have some fresh thoughts. <sighs> really? There's no escaping the schemes of our chief sage. Mm, you two are always going off together, leaving me without anyone to play with. Mm, many of the silver leaf acacia trees in the garden are blooming. <sighs> Shall we go and look at them together? Your Highness, Mala and I are discussing adult matters. Once Yacha City and the Black Python Clan are at peace, you can explore all of Horus Islands and even the whole sea. Princess, once you grow up, you too will do remarkable things. <laughs> when I grow up, will I become a sage like you? Or a general like Mala? <laughs> when you grow up, you will become the Queen both a sage and a general, protecting the citizens of Yacha City. But please, Princess, you must start dedicating yourself from now on. Moa! The ministers are calling you a traitor! They're saying you teamed up with Elder Hestus of the Black Python clan and... His Majesty took me, a homeless foreigner, into his care and trusted me to lead the city's army. I've never thought about betraying Yacha City. I could never scheme against him with the Black Python clan. I'll surely find Hestus and make him pay for breaking the peace agreement and assassinating his Majesty. I believe in Mola. Don't you believe me? You have been seriously injured. Save your strength and don't speak for now. 
I'll summon the royal doctor for emergency treatment. <laughs> you lied to me! But why? <laughs> I want my daddy back! <laughs> Your Highness, if... If my death can make you believe in me... Mola, don't speak of such things. I pledge on my title of Chief Sage to prove your innocence. Mola, what did you... I want my daddy back. Your Highness, Grace, Grace. Your Highness. Drafted the agreement and devised a peace plan. With no end in sight for hundreds of years. Goodbye, number 104. I am father's most perfect daughter. Data uploaded successfully.
follow our father's instructions. Who don't obey our father must be recycled. Seize your rebellious actions immediately. Products that don't execute commands are only fit to be eliminated. Stop it! Dr. Hervius is not our father. He's just using you. He's using us. <laughs> you betrayed our father. You don't deserve to bear the name Tanya. I am the perfect daughter of our father. I am the real Tanya! I must follow our father's instructions! True and perfect, Tanya! Father's command is the very reason for Tanya's existence! I will make him proud! Gave us life. Everything about Tanya belongs to him. Kill me, or else I'll always follow his orders. I'll take you to meet someone, and that what you do is up to you. You're... you're... Sithna! It's been a while, Tanya. I... I abandoned you. Sithna, I'm sorry, so sorry! No, it's me who caused you suffering. My existence exceeded the limits you can bear. I'd almost forgotten you. I just want to tell you that your worth is never about being Dr. Hervius's best daughter. You're the first bionic in the world to develop an independent will. You still have the chance to fix everything. <sighs> Sithna. Tanya, I've never said this before, but thank you for creating me. But now, I want to give your life back to you. I believe in your choices. My life. <laughs> thank you for creating Sethna. She's the light that guides us. If you keep doing what Dr. Hervius says, we'll meet again. But, if you're willing to help me stop him... No. 
Only you can stop him. Only you have what it takes. What are you doing? <laughs> the self-destruction module in us stops working after we die. Take my heart. No one can ever control you. Control us. Carry on living for me. Hestus, do you know what you've done? Because you assassinated the ruler, there's no longer any possibility of peace between Yacha City and the Black Python Clan! Peace? <laughs> the peace you speak of means making the chosen enchanters of the Black Python Clan bow down to those slowly originally beings just like you, a traitor. If... There were to be intermarriage between us of a time. They will tarnish the noble bloodline of enchanters, eroding the clan. When our descendants are consumed by their cunning schemes and deceptions, forgetting their noble heritage, your mission will be accomplished. There will be no remnants of the Black Python clan left in the world. 
Do you really think I can't see the purpose behind your so-called pursuit of peace? I wasn't mistaken, right? The chief sage, the true ruler of Friacha's city, the mastermind behind all schemes, the unparalleled strategist, Lady Seal. <laughs> Elder Hestus is meticulous and insightful. I've underestimated you. It is shameless to exploit the trust of your childhood playmate, though. <laughs> It goes both ways. Lady Seal, aren't you taking advantage of my relationship with Mola? I'm just doing the same in return, that's all. Now that, everyone in Yacha City knows the person who betrayed the Black Python clan has also betrayed Yacha City, be nothing more than a spy colluding with enemies. Lady Seal, I'm intrigued to see how you intend to save her and Yacha City. Hestus! I'm going to kill you! Goodbye, Mala. Goodbye, Lady Seal. I'll find the perfect spot to enjoy the fall of Yacha City. <laughs> the Black Python clan hated her to the bone, and Yacha City didn't trust her either. In the end of all, Mala's effort to promote peace were in vain. However, Mala's death for the sake of her resolve also become the worst loss of my existence. After the ruler of Yacha city perished, Seal assumed the seat of power. Mala mustered the army here, ready for an assault on the Black Python clan. Simultaneously, the clans and chanters were getting ready to strike at Yasha City. But Mola... Oh, Mola... She made a final plea urging both factions to end their hostility and return to the negotiation table. And then... Then she sacrificed herself. Mola, hang in there! I will save you! I must save you! It was me who caused all of this. The Black Python clan and Yacha City no longer have a place for me. I just hope my death can make both sides withdraw their troops. So, I really wish so someday, someday, I could see the far side of the sea with you you will we will reach the far side of the sea Estes don't don't start a war Mala Oh, yes. The enchanters used their power to ruin Yacha City. But Seal destroyed the Black Python clan with a weapon that no one knew she had developed. And I was trapped by the woman in this place, where I betrayed Mala, neither dead nor alive, repenting for my sins day and night. Go ahead, young girl. The place where Mala ended her life is just up ahead. If you truly have a connection with her, perhaps you should pay your respects there. I can finally go meet my ancestors. Young girl, if you truly do carry Mala's blood in you, I hope you also inherited her courage and demeanor.
Tanya. Why are you here? No, wait. You're number 105. Even number 103 with her enhanced combat module couldn't stop you. Don't blame you then. You made me do this. Huh? Why doesn't it work? I installed the self-destruction module in your heart! You planned every move, and had backup plans for everything. But you didn't consider Bionics could develop independent will, ceasing to be your puppets. You made light of us, the Tanyas you created, and... Hmm. <laughs> bionics are nothing more than Bionics. How naive. I created you. Did you really think you could escape my control? How dare you challenge me? You're just a bionic I created! I will crush you like a buck! You, you pathetic little creature! <sighs> I can feel an endless stream of power! I will be the only superhuman! I will change the world! I shall establish a perfect world! Perfect morals and a perfect world! Anyone stopping me from achieving my dreams can only be crushed! I can feel an endless stream of power! My dear Tani, do you believe that your wings have hardened and that you can challenge your father? You really think that with that so-called independent personality named Sithna, you can consider yourself equal to your creator? Tanya, you are still whole. Without me, follow your own way. I'll love you forever. What a delightful scream. <laughs> I will kill you! Do you really think you can challenge your father? Despicable Bionic, how dare you claim to possess an independent personality!
You're just my tool! I failed. I was defeated by a bionic I created. <sighs> You're truly my best and most perfect energy sensitive. Dr. Hervius. No. Let me call you Father one last time. Father, you still don't understand. I am not your creation. Not your tool. Not your perfect energy sensitive. You have no right to define me. You took away my Sithna. But you can't take away me! Tani. You've always been like a daughter to me. I've told many lies, but this is not one of them. This is why I have to kill you. Tani. Tani! You know, this is how it was meant to be. Tanya, wait! Tanya, I understand your doubts, conflicts and pain. I was more or less involved in your birth, and I know I might not be the right person to persuade you not to kill him. But please, listen to me. Thirteen years ago, we lost our foster daughter. Harrius was an unbearable pain, suffering from his own helplessness, the cruelty of the world, and the fragility of humans. <sighs> Luar. For all these years, he suppressed his pain deep inside numbing himself with endless research day and night. Nine years ago, we discovered the Horus Islands and Kappa's energy. For a while, it seems like he had found his passion for life again. But no one's pain can be suppressed. Gradually, I found that he weird into a distorted extreme. His pain twisted into paranoia about controlling the fate of humanity. Tanya, Harrius isn't a villain. I believe somewhere in his heart he's still that gentle and loving father. His pain can be alleviated by controlling others or manipulating the world. Of course, but if you kill him, you're granting him relief at the cost of carrying this burden for the rest of your life. Even if there is a small seed of doubt in your heart, it will grow larger and larger throughout your life until it consumes you. Tanya, your life has only just begun. You deserve a better one. The choice is yours. I won't stop you. <sighs> Thank you, Tanya. Don't ever call me that. <sighs> okay. Your lab is gone, and I've shut down the energy bursting points in the Ancient Valley and two other locations as well. If you try to conduct any more research on Karpa's energy, I'll end you. Fine. Wait, you shut down the energy bursting points? Those three energy bursting points are the power engines of the Karpa's airship, and shutting them down will stop your... your experiment. Isn't that so? Who told you that? The three energy bursting points are the airship's automatic protection mechanisms, God in its central control chamber. Only energy sensitives could bear the power they emit and shut them down. Uh, he didn't have to die. It's you! But... but why? I used you again, Tanya. I'm truly sorry. Please trust me. I don't mean any harm to you. But you're not her. Not Nala, at least. I'll inherit Syl's will. And fulfill Mala's lifelong dream. Whatever it takes.
Well, you must be here to stop me. So do your best. During the time of Sil and Mola, you already had the technology for great voyages. But stupid wars hindered the progress of civilization. People haven't gained the capability for space travel yet. Using alien technology that no one fully understands to venture into space and accelerate the progression of civilization is just as foolish. I won't deny your love, but I won't accept your madness. The flesh is just a rapidly decaying medium, but the will can be immortalized and carried on by others. way to fulfill her dream than to head to the farthest reaches of the universe? Be foolish, but I'm determined to fulfill her dream no matter what.
500 years. I've guarded her dream for 500 years. I'll never give up until I'm dead. Gatti, you're incredibly smart. No one is more cunning than you. You've spent 500 years planning for Syl's dream alone. But is that the entirety of your existence? What about your own life? You told me I deserved a better fate than being someone else's puppet. I never forgot your words. Thanks to your calculated intervention, I created the personality of Sithna. She set me free, giving me the chance to be myself. I think it's my turn to set you free now. Hmm. <laughs> How could you possibly free me from my own fate? Do what you have to do. As for me, I will never betray her.
It's me, Tanya. I'm back. <gasps> we we're finally together again. It seems our journey is not over yet, Tanya. I will remain by your side, just like before. You must be here to stop me. So do your best. During the time of Sil and Mola, you already had the technology for great voyages, but stupid wars hindered the progress of civilization. People haven't gained the capability for space travel yet. Using alien technology that no one fully understands to venture into space and accelerate the progression of civilization is just as foolish. I won't deny your love, but I won't accept your madness. The flesh is just a rapidly decaying medium, but the will can be immortalized and carried on by others. way to fulfill her dream than to head to the farthest reaches of the universe? foolish, but I'm determined to fulfill her dream no matter what.
500 years. I've guarded her dream for 500 years. I'll never give up until I'm dead. Gatti, you're incredibly smart. No one is more cunning than you. You've spent 500 years planning for Syl's dream alone. But is that the entirety of your existence? What about your own life? You told me I deserved a better fate than being someone else's puppet. I never forgot your words. Thanks to your calculated intervention, I created the personality of Sithna. She set me free, giving me the chance to be myself. I think it's my turn to set you free now. <laughs> How could you possibly free me from my own fate? Do what you have to do. As for me, I will never betray her. Tanya, you don't have to do this. What? I don't know what happened, but I can tell. You've awakened. You no longer need my help. No. No, no, no. I won't lose you again. Everyone deserves a second chance. I believe you also don't want to unleash Gati by eliminating Syl. Right? Have you... have you really thought it through? You know, I represent the part of your personality that thinks independently. Thinking it through is the essence of my existence. This is something only I can do. You should give me and give Gati a chance to try. Okay. I understand. Who? Who are you talking to? What are you going to do? Who are you? Who are you? Why are you in my cognitive system? What are you talking about? This has to be my life's meaning. I... I have never doubted it. A choice. No. This is my choice. I'm Gertie. I'm... Syl. No. I, I'm Gertie's will. You're me? Gertie? Isn't... Syl? The meaning of existing. Mine is to fulfill Mala's dream. In the name of Syl, at any cost. How could you possibly free me? of my existence is to fulfill Mola's dream. There's no other way. This is my choice. You wretched thing! Don't think you can mess with my cognitive system as long as I still have breath. Five hundred years ago, I would steal moments of relaxation with Mola, rowing and watching the sun set and rise again under our ancestors' gaze. We fantasized about countless futures here, 
We believed one day Yacha City and the Black Python Clan could shake hands and make peace. We believed another world awaited our exploration beyond the sea. We believed we... I... miss her so. Molla tried to stop a foolish war with her own life. She wouldn't want me to see the launch of the airship at the cost of the entire Horus Islands, let alone half the world. I know. I know all of this. I lack the strength to oppose Sil's 500-year obsession. <sighs> Bionics always end up going against their creator's will. Right? Tanya, I need your help. Stop me. Stop her. I will. Tanya, do you really want to leave? Can't you wait two more years for me to grow up? I want to go see the world beyond the islands too! Tanya, thank you for helping me bury Harrius. Seeing how you've grown up as someone who had a part in your birth to some extent, I'm truly comforted. I'll continue to conduct research in the islands and ignite the technological achievements left by Harrius. One day, We'll meet again. Well, Tanya, goodbye. We each have our own lives to experience, to feel, and to live. You won't want to miss anything. When it's time to pick Snow Valley tea again, I'll get the tea ready and wait for you. It's not the end. Yes, it's just the beginning.